G'day guys, welcome back to Reach Me or Teach Me. Special one for me today, a uh, special request from me. Uh, I am doing the hitmen of the NRL. Their names are Steve Matai and George Tafua. Um, a full disclosure, it's not a blind reaction. I have seen this video a few years ago um, when it first came out, uh, but I thought this would be a really good way to demonstrate, I guess, what I've been saying a lot in my NFL videos about the differences between the tackling technique, and at the same time, you guys can see some fantastic hits uh, and get a little bit of a taste of our codes down here. So this game is Rugby League. There is also Rugby Union. They are similar, but also quite different. This one's Rugby League. Steve Matai and George Tafua both happen to play for the same team, which was the Manly Sea Eagles. Um, and, uh, yeah, enjoy this, guys. It, I have seen this before, not for a few years, but it is awesome. There they are there, the boys. So the guy on the left here is George Tafua. The guy on the right here is Steve Matai. <laughs> That is a picture perfect copybook at rugby league tackle. Uh, like you'll see a replay of this surely, but he he comes in and this is what I say all the time: shoulder in around the rib cage if you can, wrap the arms hopefully around the ball if you can do that, and just crunch him. Again, shoulder, rib cage, wrap the arms, crunch them. These guys are like brick walls, though. If you know, they're standing still, or even sometimes slightly backpedaling, and the the offensive players running at them sometimes at full speed. But the pure technique and the timing of their contact and everything, they they were just mwah, beautiful to watch. Oh yeah. Good night. Walker, big time. I reckon the hair set up a bit higher. That's really the first time South Sydney have strung to get us. Such a, a movement. Oh, that was a touch high. It looked high. Oh no. So he made contact with the ball first and then slid up. So that's that's perfectly legal. You're allowed to hit the ball and then you can, like, if the, if you bounce off the ball or slide off the ball and then make contact with the head, it's still legal. Season. It was a beauty, wasn't it? Got him uh, on the blind spot here and just whacks him. Oh. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's definitely in my top three. Top three. Yeah, because I've done a bit of research over this year. We've had some crackers. God, you're unbelievable. Yeah. You look at this. Working. Good technique. Mm. Oh. That head snap. Oh. So you can so again with what I'm saying with what you guys tend to do over there or what I've seen anyway from a lot of the tackling displays and what a lot, some of the people have commented again, you guys are going for that massive hit, that massive contact. Um, whereas the games are quite different here. The, again, the, these guys are still creating massive contact, but there's less of the like running, flying defense if you'd like because that will potentially create a gap in the offensive line because you guys are all over the place whereas these guys are two set lines so imagine if, if you've got all these players all standing in a line here and then this guy here decides to fly out of the defensive line and try and make some special sort of crazy play then all of a sudden you've got a gap for the offense to pass it back flick the ball back in and go back inside very hard to explain this way but hopefully it made sense <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is you, send, you tend to defend as a group, like as a sort of two or three man group in, in rugby league. As the offensive player comes towards you, 
you'll probably be the initial contact. There'll be a secondary contact that will come in as well to help secure the bullet or take the man down. Um, and then there'll be another guy out there that's sort of shading depending on whether the pass comes or whether the, the, the guy jukes to the left or the right, etc. So um, it's not like a you have to make the one tackle by yourself. This is sort of group defense generally. Not in this video. These guys are just killing people. See what I mean? Shoulder and a rib cage. It's oh. Giddy up, son. Oh, he nearly killed him. Oh, that that seat. Surely, yeah. Th this is per like not a legal tackle at all. This is penalty. But in his defence, the guy falls. He falls down onto his knees. Otherwise, they would have hit him in the chest. But, oh my god. <laughs> Look at it. Oh. <laughs> Bang. Just that big launch. That deserves another look. Nice oh. on, get amongst it. Left, right, good night. Okay, so what went down there was what I said before. He's gone to tackle, but he's hit the ball and it's bounced up. Caught the guy on the chin. Now, in full speed, that's really hard to see what's happened there. And it just looks like he's, he's copped him straight in the head. So the other guy's teammates are sticking up for him going, that was an illegal shot, you're a dog, etc. Um, turned into a bit of fisticuffs. But the replays would have shown that that wasn't a penalty. And that that was actually a legal tackle, even that looked really bad. Goes wide He's got it was just a good tackle. Fumbles. Bang. sure there's another video that I've seen. Maybe that wasn't the video that I've watched, but um, with more tackles than that. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed that. Um, some great, great tackles in that video. These two are two of the best. Uh, if you did like that video and you want to see more rugby or rugby league content, um, or even AFL, Australian football, that's a whole different game. Maybe I should do a video on that. Look, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see another... Um, NRL tackling video, but maybe not just of these two, just sort of like the best NRL hits or something like that. Drop a comment below, let me know. Um, with all that being said, guys, if you've stuck around this long, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And uh, I will see you in the next one.